grid scale solar is something you and I may not be able to afford. Uh, solar freaking roadways are genuinely stupid. Rooftop solar can also be prohibitively expensive, but what about balcony solar? It's come to Germany, so of course I've got my German expert with me, uh, and we're going to discuss that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> Joining me today is Jan from Tesla Fix. I, for years, had thought it was Tesla Fist. I was mistaken. Um, you can't tell by some noise in the background. I'm getting some work done on the house. We're very excited to finally have someone here to do that. We are not getting solar balconies, though. I'm curious, what is that about? Tell me what I'm missing. Yeah, we had this news, actually, that uh, solar balconies are booming in Germany. Here's what you need to know about the popular home tech and what can I say? I haven't seen one uh, in the wild right now, but um, I saw a trend happening during COVID, actually. There was that people bought those smaller solar panels that you could get from Amazon, for example, or from a particular brand that also makes batteries, starts with an A, and also goes further with an N key, E, -E or oh, geez, I, I'm not good at spell spelling in English. So um, they had a huge battery, for example, and, and there are some panels that they, um, like Anchor also offers here and not sponsored by the way. And um, that's what they put into into their porch and there was a big trend. And now we, we see this bigger news actually um, that it's, it's fixed installed um, there in Germany. There are some some startups that 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 do those kinds of things, and this makes a lot of sense. You cannot, of course, get a lot of uh, capacity from those, um, but enough. It's 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 sufficient enough to add to that. Um, and yeah, maybe you you want to add something if 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 the drill isn't so loud <laughs> on your end. <laughs> it's going to be loud, but uh, just bear with us. Subsidies are available on a regional level with up to 500 euros on offer in Berlin, potentially half the cost of the kit. Tech pays for itself for in around three years. So with a lifetime of 20 years, it's a very straightforward investment. And these are, you know, um, every bit helps, I guess. I guess the biggest part mm -hmm. would be tying it back into your power system. Sounds like the most expensive part. Uh, but how many of these do you think they could roll out? Uh, Let's see. According to the Market uh, Master Data Register, Nordrhein-Westfalia currently has the most plug-in solar systems with well over 80,000. Wow. Followed by Bavaria with 60,000, Lower Saxony with more than 50,000. You know, it doesn't take very many to start adding up. And they could be as simple as something like this or mm -hmm. as complicated and beautiful as something like we saw at the top here. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That looks like art. That mm -hmm. looks like you did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. This, this the, poll, not so much, but. Yeah, I, I think um, it's interesting. You have to know something about Germany to, to figure out why the heck are people uh, making balconies out of solar panels? Does that make sense? Uh, um, why don't they just use roof panels and stuff like this? Guys, we don't own homes here. You forgot that. Um, we we actually don't have any space left. Uh, prices of even, yeah, just straight out apartments here, for example, in South Germany. Okay, I live at the Lake of Constance, uh, so uh, desired place to be or something, but we have prices like 800K for an 80 square meter apartment here. So when you want to buy something like this, 800,000 euros, which is ridiculously high. You could get a mansion in the US at some places, of course. I know like uh, LA is a different story, but um, yeah, it's it's crazy. So this means we don't own our, our own homes. We don't have like these suburbs like you have in the US where it's easy kind of more or less. Of course, it costs money. Initial investment is very high, but um, yeah, we have apartments also in Berlin, for example. It, it makes sense. You can gather sunlight at least from the balcony. It, may, it makes sense because we don't have, we, we always uh, most of the time live in apartments. Of course, there are homes, but you get the point. It's not as common as 
in the spacious U.S. <laughs> yeah. I my host family in Germany was was very well off. The house was huge. We had many bedrooms. We had you know, everything was fancy and nice, uh, but it was still what in the U.S. we would call a townhouse. It was a row home. We had a shared wall with the neighbors on yep. on one side and a shared garage wall on the other side and a tiny little backyard. There was no place to put. We, we, you could put it on the roof, I suppose, but a lot mm -hmm. of people live uh, vertically. So if you're yep. on the second or third or fourth floor, of a five-story building, there's no roof directly above you. And I've tried putting solar panels in my upstairs neighbor's living room. It does not go over well. Uh, but you do have a balcony. And mm -hmm. if your balcony is anything but north-facing, that is an opportunity. If it's east, west, or south, yep. it's an opportunity. And if the cost makes sense for you, and it's something that can be relatively painless to integrate, it's a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. What are we, what are we even I've, arguing I've... about here? Yeah, w one more thing to add to that. Can you, uh, Ryan, could you please research and Google for me one thing? Could you check what uh, electricity prices are, how high they are in the ranking where Germany actually is? Uh, you could you ooh. could check that. It's a, yeah. it's a high number. The electricity prices here are sometimes higher than on an island. You can you can think about let that sink in for one moment. Um, electricity is super high in Germany, and that's why it makes sense to have solar energy. And actually, the German government had subsidies before they they um, when this big big solar energy wave and uh, renewable energy wave hit. We had a lot of um, solar startups actually here, and. Yeah, the market started to boom because it was subsidized. And then suddenly out of nowhere, they cut the incentives again. And then all those startups went bankrupt. And then we had a stagnation. And now it ca finally catched up again. And in terms of renewable energy, Germany is actually pretty far off, I would say. It, it gets better and better every year. But um, prices are crazy. That's why, yeah, so those self-sustaining... Systems, I'm happy yeah. to share Are this good. slide with you to debunk mm -hmm. your myth. Now, mind you, this is pretty out of date. This is only as of now. And okay. uh, there's a lot average in the world is only 14.2 cents per kilowatt hour. In Germany, look at that, is only at number one in highest price. Oh, dear. Oh, oh mm -hmm. dear. Now, yep. now that is the that is the retail rate. So if when you're supercharging, you must be double that. And, yeah, uh, it is uh, actually. I, I, for example, we have the here a ga gas station that also has a supercharger or, or a fast charger, not a supercharger, but a fast charger, and the, yeah, they charge eighty cents per kilowatt. Yeah, that's what they do. And the other one that's a little bit slower, slightly slower at a um, near facility there, costs fifty cents per kilowatt hour. That's the rates wow. that I have to charge my car because I cannot throw a extension cord out of the window to charge my uh, car down on the streets, um, the public streets here, because I also live in an apartment. That's not possible. I cannot do that, sadly. So I cannot even charge from home electricity. Uh, yeah, look at that. I just think you need to bring your pedal bike outside and mm -hmm. juice it up that way. So you're converting... Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> bratwurst directly into uh, <laughs> yeah. Miles. I only run on bratwurst. That's true, and mm -hmm. schnitzel, of course. <laughs> of course, these yeah. are true things that we know to be true. I did want to show this. This is examples of uh, less. I mean, there's some of these are pretty nice looking. This looks decent, um, but you don't have to do anything too crazy to get some advantage from your balcony. These mm -hmm. look pretty nice here. Uh, there are opportunities and here Absolutely. you go a whole building with solar all the way up to balconies that would be such a smart idea just keep adding up the number of of panels you've got there and it becomes pretty crazy in a hurry so uh yeah i would say that's all um good news and i am sad for you that uh that my electricity rate is zero it is 7.8 pennies per kilowatt hour uh, so for me to fully charge my vehicle at home, I mean, you can do the math. It's like $6. Uh, <sighs> and I did finally get my level two put in, uh, thanks to, uh, my buddy Bubba for some, uh, 
pointers and tips on how to install it myself, uh, because he definitely would not have helped me because he is not a licensed contractor. So it was definitely all me. And, uh, and that's definitely his legal name. So, mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what I would say is, um, do you have a balcony? You folks at home, do you have a balcony? Would you consider this if there was a painless way to integrate it into your home where you could just, where it wasn't like cost prohibitive to wire something goofy to get you that power back? I don't know. I don't think we have that opportunity yet, but it's something we can consider now that we know how easy it is mm -hmm. and how popular it is and how every little bit helps. Uh, let us know. Uh, if you want to visit with uh, me or Jan, we are both going to be at the X takeover in Austria in May. We are both going to be at the Tesla owners meetup in Muskegon in Michigan in June. Uh, and then beyond that, who knows? Uh, I imagine we will both then retire. Our jobs here have been finished. Of course. Of course, because Th those are the only events <sighs> that you I wanted to attend. That was my goal. And then yes. I'm done. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I will also be at the X takeover in California in July, but I didn't want to make you feel jealous because I cannot expect you to fly that much. That is not commensurate with your <laughs> with your with your budget, I am sure. Uh, so yeah, uh, because I I have to pay electricity here apparently all the time, and uh, yeah, that's that's the problem. Time. I cannot travel as much. That's why. But of course. Uh, I just wanted to say something here on your channel again. Yes, please. I just love love your audience. Your audience is just awesome. <laughs> they're there they're it is. so great. Perfect. I just wanted to thank everybody for, for being mm -hmm. uh, so great in the comments as well. And I will be in this comment section as well. So please write something down below. And I'm going to answer that. I'm, I'm actually, Brian tied my foot to the, to the, to the screen here. And uh, I cannot really move anyway and brian is in another room brian could you get me some pizza rolls please <laughs> Shh, i'm sorry i'm recording i know somebody's okay. yelling at me no there was uh it was easy because you know uh jan is so broke that i went on task rabbit and found someone to tie his foot to the table and it turned out to be him so that worked out yeah great. <laughs> yeah you gotta sometimes but it, vertically but he did, integrate here yeah. did send a picture to prove it was done so i'm very confident that that worked uh guys definitely let us know what do we miss what do we misunderstand we do look at these comments so uh if you see some comments below that are genuinely crazy feel free to just uh politely uh remind them that reality is not always what the oil companies want you to believe it is Everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do the usual, smash thumbs. Not your own, not someone else's, just the <laughs> ones online. And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots at one of those amazing events. <laughs>